hi guys welcome again on my channel in this video we are going to learn about the k factor what is k factor why k factor is so important and how to find k factor so let's see let's understand what is k factor uh, when you have a flat sheet metal part you will deform it by punching using the punch and v die so this punch comes down and forms in the shape of the bottom v now when this deformation happens right at this stage if we zoom in and see what actually happens in the, in the deformation so on on the inside you will get a compression and on the outside of the surface you will have a tension but in the whole thickness there will be a one neutral plane where there will be no compression and no tension so that plane is called neutral plane and that axis is known as neutral axis to to understand this more properly let's look at this image and see this is a plane this is an axis where there is no compression no tension here you have compression and here you have tension so this neutral axis distance from the neutral axis from the inside to the neutral axis is called t and the ratio of t by thickness is known as k factor now why it is that important to find the correct k factor for your parts what will happen if you don't have the correct k factor now i have created a simple part using k factor 0.45 and k factor 0.23 same part same length everything is same just the difference is different k factor so with 0.45 we get approx 434 long flat part and with 0.23 k factor we get 420 approx length of flat part so so you can easily see a small difference can make a huge impact on the matter so the way this works is if you have a smaller k factor the length you will produce will be shorter if you have a higher k factor and then you will get a longer flat length now how do we find this k factor and how do we get it right all the time so it mainly depends on thickness flat length when you fold it before and after fold length so after folding we get both the direction what both the length from side then fold angle and internal radius if we have all this information we can easily put all this data in the in the link which is in the description and easily find the k factor for our sheet metal part now thank you very much for watching uh, i hope you like this video and if you have any questions or if you want to put any comments please put down in the comment section and if you like to make any specific video on any specific topic please comment it and i will try to get that video organized for you